This is the video for 141. Um, we're going to be talking about some different pairs of angles today. So these three vocabulary words are different types of angles. So adjacent is another word that just means next to. So these are two angles just right next to each other. So they have to share a side. So they're always going to have a common vertex and a ray. So like angles one and two are sharing this ray and this endpoint. Um, supplementary angles mean that they add to 180 degrees together. So if we're told angle A and angle D are supplementary, we know their measurements add to 180 degrees. So maybe I'll label this A and D so we can use that. Okay, um, complementary angles are similar, but these are two angles that add to 90 degrees. So if D and A are complementary, then they add to 100, or excuse me, they add to 90 degrees. So maybe I'm gonna draw one more picture in here, you guys. Let's make this angle D and this angle A. So we'll say this is maybe 30 degrees and 50 degrees. So those two, sorry, let's make that 40 degrees so it actually adds to 90. There we go. So 40 degrees and 50 degrees are complementary. So two angles that add to 180 are supplementary, two angles that add to 90 are complementary. Okay, so let's do some examples. Okay, so we're given that angle A, the measure of angle A is 56.4 degrees, and angle B is 2x minus 4 degrees. Find the measure of each of the following. Okay, so they want me to find the supplement of A. What that means is they want what angle, when I add it to A, gets me to 180 degrees. So we're going to say angle A, which is 56.4 degrees, plus its supplement, so some unknown angle measure, has to equal 180 degrees because we're looking for a supplement, which goes with supplementary. So if I just subtract 56.4, we get the supplement to equal, so we're doing 180 minus 56.4 and we get 123.6 degrees. So 123.6 degrees is the supplement of 56.4 because together they add to 180. Okay, so now we're gonna find the complement. So this is very similar, but this time they don't add to 180, they add to 90. So we're gonna set up this equation. So again, to get x by itself, we're gonna subtract 56.4. Okay, and so we get the supplement so if I do 90 minus 56.4, we get 33.6 degrees. Okay, so now we want the supplement of angle B. So here's angle B. So we don't have a number for angle B. We have an expression with X, but we're still going to set up the same thing. Um, so I'm actually going to use a different variable, though, since X is already involved here. So we're going to say... Um, 2x minus 4 plus y equals 180, right? It says together these two angles have to add to 180 if they are supplementary. So I want to get y by itself because y is the supplement. So I'm going to subtract 2x and I'm going to add 4. So we're getting y by itself. Okay, so I have y, that's the supplement angle. Um, and then I have 180 plus 4, which is 184, and then minus 2x. We don't know what x is, so this is as far as we can go. To write it as an angle and put the degree symbol, I'm just going to put that in parentheses. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here for complement. So again, we've got 2x minus 4 plus y. This time I'm going to set it equal to 90 degrees. And we're going to get y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2x and add 4 from both sides. Okay, so we've got 90 plus 4, I can do that addition, 94, and then we have a negative 2x. Again, I'm just going to write it as an angle by putting it in parentheses there. Okay, this one we know an angle's measure is three times the measure of its complement. Find the measure of the angle and the measure of its complement. Okay, so we know complement means that together they're adding to be 90 degrees. So I'm going to draw two angles adding to be 90. Okay, so there's angle one and angle two, okay? So 
one of these angles is three times bigger than the other one. So I'm going to make that this one since it is, since I drew it to look bigger. So it's three times bigger than this one. Well, I don't know what either of them are. So I'm going to call this one X and then three times that would make this three X. And I know together they have to equal 180. So I'm going to do three X plus X. Sorry, I said 180 equals 90 for complementary. Okay. So, and our reason here is the definition of complementary angles. We know that if we're told they're complementary, they add to be 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this equation so I can combine those x's. All right, and so 90 divided by 4 is 22 and a half. So that means one of the angles is 22.5. Other angle is three times that. So we're going to multiply that times three and we get 67.5. And together they do add to be 90 degrees. Um, and I think that is it for this video, you guys. Thanks for watching.